Felon voting. Should felons be allowed to vote? In the United States, an estimated 5.85 million people are not allowed to vote in elections because they have a felony conviction. This is a condition known as disenfranchisement. Felon voting laws vary by state. In two states, convicted felons can vote by absentee ballot while they're in prison. In 36 states and Washington, D.C., felons have their vote restored after they finish serving their terms or after they finish their periods of parole or probation. In 12 states, some felons can lose their ability to vote permanently. Should felons be allowed to vote? When felons have served their sentences and repaid their debt to society, their punishment is complete and they deserve to regain their fundamental rights. Felons whose right to vote is restored are at least two-thirds less likely to return to prison. Disenfranchisement laws are a form of racial discrimination. African Americans represent 12.6% of the US population, but they make up over 38% of the US prison population. Due to racial bias in the criminal justice system, more than one in eight black men are disenfranchised in the United States. Disenfranchisement is a political strategy of mass electoral suppression by Republicans. In 2000, the presidential election between Al Gore and George W. Bush was decided by 537 votes in Florida, a state that had 750,000 disenfranchised voters at the time. An estimated 73% of felons would vote for Democratic candidates, so if those people had been allowed to vote, Gore would certainly have carried the state and the election. However, when somebody breaks the public trust by committing a crime, they forfeit their right to take part in the democratic process. A person who breaks the law should not make the law. After all, the 14th Amendment of the US Constitution says that a state can deny the vote to those participating in rebellion or other crime. There is nothing unreasonable about felons losing some rights and privileges. They can also lose their Second Amendment rights, their ability to serve on a jury, their ability to receive welfare checks and food stamps, their eligibility for financial aid to attend college, and sometimes they can lose their parental rights. Besides, we don't let children vote, and we don't let non-citizens vote. Neither should we allow felons to vote. The call for felon voting is a political ploy by Democrats, who stand to gain the most votes. As we know, an estimated 73% of felons would vote for Democratic candidates. So it's no coincidence that one poll found 48% of Democrats favoring felon voting, with only 17% of Republicans feeling the same way. So, should felons be allowed to vote? Should they lose that right while they complete their sentences? Or should they lose the right to vote forever? What do you think? <laughs>